What is up guys, back for round two of the uh, Vintage Cube and we are on the play which is awesome. Our hand doesn't really do much, we've got our land drops. Um, so from the previous round I've seen that our deck is really really fast so I'm just going to mulligan that. I think the deck, it just has so many mana dorks that um, I think we can afford to mulligan this. This is an interesting hand, we'll keep, get a land. Uh, one, two, three, four, five. So we can play Garrick turn two. Which seems ridiculous, so I'm up for that. Let's play a forest and pass. Feel like we're slightly ahead now, and we'll just make three three, of course, and pass the turn. So all we know so far is that they're on blue green. All of roots, that is fine. It looks like they're playing a similar deck to us. Luckily, we know they don't have opposition because we do. I think I'm just going to minus here to try and hit my land drops. Like, I can keep turning out 3-3s three three, I guess, but... There we go. I'm paying for troops here, but I don't really get anything. Like, we're just going to have to discard. Um, so, one, two, three. Uh, four, five. Next turn we're gonna have five mana, so we can stop position next turn. So we'll just play the elves and pass. Especially considering the painful trees would have to discard anyway. I think it's better to just develop the board. Okay, so they're on Sultai. I think the turn two Garrick was uh, pretty ridiculous. Like, obviously, Black Forest is just stupid when you play it on turn two. <laughs> I think it was better to play the Garrick than hold off for anything else, just because we didn't have any land drops. Oh, they have a Garrick of their own. Sure, that's fine. So, uh, yeah, the only thing we really can do is just painful truths. Might as well do it for maximum value. Perfect. So, I think we just play the tiger. I can't think of any reason to play the ancient tomb yet. Okay, another three three and pass the turn. There's no point in attacking against a zero four. When you're playing something in modern, where you can have things like Attackers Command and Gore Clan Rampage, sure. But like what what are we gonna be playing? Giant Growth. I guess we could have attacked first, but I, I, I just don't think it's worth it. Play a 3-3. Three, three. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. We have 6 mana to use. Um, I quite like just Rakdos returning here. We can kill Garrick, make them discard a bunch. Yeah. I 
stick snake. <laughs> yeah, that works. Um. Attacking doesn't really do anything. We just traded 3 3 for a death toucher. So now we just pass. Like, we're better off with just creatures instead of trading them off as a guy's cradle. So I see no reason to. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So next turn, assuming we draw an untapped land, we can um, use Garak to kill their Garak. But then we lose ours. So we can minus. Yeah, so we could minus Garak, draw 3, uh, hopefully draw an untapped land, and then kill their Garak. Oh, they have Nerves Disc. Okay. Destroys artifacts, enchantments, and creatures. Okay, so it doesn't actually kill our Garrick, which is great. Okay, so we're drawing the untapped land. And he's got the Nevs to so I just, uh, just trying to think if it's better to um, plus or minus. Like, if we minus and we draw. Uh, Guy's Cradle, we can go like Avenger, then Guy's Cradle, and then Garrick or something. Wait, can we do that? One, two, three, four, five, six. No, so we can't do that. Um, I guess we could just. <coughs> sorry, sorry, uh, we could Acidic Slime, blow up the Nev's Disc, and keep developing the board that way. I just. I think he's got a better board than I do currently. Actually, no, that's definitely not true. We can always just ancient grudge that. So one, so we do that. Then we have one, two, three, four, five mana to use. So we can do that, and then acidic slime the swamp, and then shut them off of black. So what we can do this turn? I'm not sure which is the best. I do think it's correct to blow up the disc. And that's plus Garrick. And we'll play Acidic Slam, I think. We don't need another green source, there's no point in taking damage. I guess that opens us up to Wasteland as well. So here we could actually get the um, Lumbering Fools. But I prefer just cutting them off with black. And again, I don't, I don't really see the point in attacking. At the end of, the, at the end of it, we're basically just trading pluses for pluses. And the until he minuses that, then it doesn't do anything. Obviously, the best card to draw is Guy's Cradle, I think. Yeah, I'm fairly sure that Guy's Cradle is just nuts here. And we've got rid of the Nerves Disc, so I don't know how much of a removal he could have in blue green. There's Cyclonic Rift, overloaded. One, two, three, four, five. He's only got six mana at the minute, and I think it's seven to overload. Frost Titan, yeah, that's pretty good. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Oh, but this will come in tapped. Just 
just trying to think if it's better to like we can't Garrick unfortunately because the frost I know counter the if we kill that well we can Garrick and kill the, uh, their Garrick but then we lose ours hmm they're still thinking about something so they've got one green to play with I guess Oh, actually, they've used that, so now the beasts can kill this, which is great, because now we can start pushing in through some damage. If we can deal with the Frost Titan. I don't know how opposition works with this, so it's whenever it comes to target a spell or ability an opponent controls. That's an activated ability, I believe, because of the semicolons. Yeah. I think we just want to draw cards, slam Garrick and kill Garrick. So we can play uh, Garrick and then just play the Temple of Malady. Yeah, so I think we just play the Temple of Malady first, right? Get some information before we definitely play the Garrick. Guy's Cradle, perfect. We definitely want that. I just conceded. Okay. I feel like that was a little bit premature, but that's fine. I'm not going to complain. Uh, Bonfire Dam seems quite nice. Don't think we saw any artifacts with Torch Fiend. We didn't see any like actual mana docks. We saw Wall of Roots, but I don't really consider that like a normal mana dock. So we can't like Firebolt it or Grim Laugh Monster. Wolf Heart might be okay, just to like start beating down on his Planeswalkers. We do have trouble casting opposition, unfortunately, so maybe we do just swap out for uh, that, and then we can cut the island and the breeding pool for a forest and a mountain. Oh no, we keep the breeding pool because uh, Scolding can't. Sorry, Scolding Tarn can then fetch this. It can fetch blue and then it can get green. So we'd only cut that for a mountain probably. No, oh, I think opposition is fine to keep in then. I don't think bump. Uh, that's tough. We do have quite. What oh, do we have? This card draw. Painful truths, Garrick. And library, but the library. It's very rare. Oh, and solemn. Let's try to make sure that we don't draw the bonfire. Actually, to be honest, it's not even that bad. Like, if we can ramp up, then paying like what seven mana to deal three to each of his creatures is fine. So yeah, we're gonna cut that, cut that, and add a mountain. Perfect. Okay, so we can one, two, three. So we can just like start playing library here. And we're on the draw, so one, two. So yeah, we'll go down to six when we play that and we'll draw. And then we can do that. So, get to finally play library. I've never actually had a chance to play Library of Alexandria. Because there's not really anything you can play in besides Cuban Vintage.
And obviously we wait till it's their turn before we draw. Because otherwise we'll go up to eight. Okay. They look, oh, okay. So they, they see that we've got a card advantage. So they're just going to um, not even bother trying to go the long end. They're just going to try and beat us down. Which makes sense. So we're going to do this. Go get a land and play a mana dock. And we want tiger. <laughs> this just seems ridiculous. <laughs> Because now we can still just library, and every time we can just play it, uh, make a land drop and play a spell. Skull clamp. Oh, okay, maybe that's what they're doing with the Den Protector face up. That's fine. They're not going to be able to keep up in card advantage with Library of Alexandria, so I'm not too worried. Or is this the point where we can start playing things? Because um, if we play, pay two to play Lotus Cobra, uh, play a forest with it, can then play both of these. And then we'll have next turn one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, potentially seven mana to just discard their hand. I think I like that more. Because that like, we might be able to like get more cards than them, but we need to like have something, uh, play something more powerful. Because we can't just end of turn do things and like counter. So I, th I think I like uh, so we could just play one man dork. Oh, we can just library now. That works. My card is just so broken. <laughs> yeah, I think we're just going to play that. And get it for one. We're just so far ahead. Like, libraries is ridiculous. Garrick's fine, make a 2 2, sure. So we can just kill Garrick and make him. Oh wow. We can do a lot now. Um, so next enemy is going to probably skull clamp the token. Draw 2. Oh no, because it's 2 2, not 1 1, sorry. It's not the till the other side, it's a 1 1. There's no reason to play the Black Lotus because um, we can Rakdos return for seven. Oh, sorry, four, five for seven mana. Anyway, uh, actually, we can Library now and then Black Lotus. That just seems bad. Yeah, I think we're just going to miss out on Library this turn. Dump all the mana into it. That should be his hand gone. X is five. Yep. And we can kill Garak too. Yes. Cool. We're like, yeah, we're miles ahead now, especially with Black Lotus. So next time we can play like 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, potentially 11 mana. Is it attacking with it? I thought he'd want to keep back to block. 
so then he can like trade off because like what does getting in three damage do? Hmm. So we've got ten mana to use. Chandra is the quickest way to kill him, so that's probably the best bet. I'll get prime time. Does that change anything? Yes, because then we can use prime time to get Guy's Cradle and use Guy's Cradle of Avenger to play everything next turn. Yep, I like that. Um, I'm gonna play the Black Lotus here in case he has some sort of like four spike crap. Okay, I didn't even want to see what it was. Sweet, um, that was round two. Thanks for watching, um, and we'll see you around three.